We've been talking about Zen a lot over the last few months, us and every other tech channel or website out there, and after counting the spec leaks, demonstrations, and even a few benchmarks, we've had one lingering question remaining unanswered, and that is, of course, when we can actually buy the desktop Zen known as Summit Rich. Of course, previously, Dr. Lisa Sue did confirm that it would be available in the first quarter of 2017, but now we finally have a solid answer. And the next-gen AMD CPU line, of course, Zen, are reported to be launching at the upcoming CES show, which takes place in January of 2017. However, that's not all. There will be a multitude of different motherboards released before Summit Ridge appears on store shelves, with the high-end motherboards, including the AM4 X370 chipsets, shipping in December of this year. For those of you who have perhaps been paying a close attention, you might have noticed that retail prices for the current gen AMD processors have gone pretty low, there's been some pretty nice deals, including you know, bundles and deep discounts and yada yada yada. And from the reports obtained by Digitimes, this is basically AMD clearing their back in inventory of older stock to basically prepare retailers for the upcoming launch of Zen. And per the report, while Zen is going to be launching in January of next year, there is a good chance that volume and mass shipments won't occur until about a month later, but again, this hasn't been confirmed just yet. As we already know, AMD have seen quite the boost in profits due to Polaris and their custom APUs found in both, of course, Sony and Microsoft's consoles. And with Zen rolling out early next year and reports of multiple Vega GPUs, with some replacing the current Polaris lineup, AMD are on course to continue that rise in success. So for those of you who have been following all the Zen news here on the RGT for the past few months, the launch date of January shouldn't be too surprising. We've already seen the company demonstrate a Summit Ridge CPU featuring 8 cores and 16 threads, PIP and 6900K to the post with their Blender benchmark, and of course AMD have started releasing information on the various AM4 motherboards. Now this is pretty important as it does mean that the current AM4 boards are available to OEMs, the Dells and so on of the world, who are building pre-built systems. But now with the release of Zen on the horizon, those c vendors can then give people like you and me easy upgrade options and can easily tweak their configurations with options at the checkout stage. As we've discussed many times now, Zen is a completely redesigned processor and designed from the ground up to focus on single threaded performance and lower power consumption. AMD have been touting a 40% performance advantage over their older processors with Zen, and thanks to simultaneous multi-threading, in theory Zen should be quite the impressive powerhouse. Now what's really interesting about the January 27 release date of Zen is it does pretty much put it in odds with the release of KB Lake. Now as I discussed fairly recently, KB Lake is a pretty odd duck as the higher end part, the 7700K, features far higher performance than the 6700K thanks to both a higher clock speed and better IPC. And of course it is compatible with your current Skylake motherboards, providing you run a BIOS update. So basically AMD are left to fight out an upgrade path for people with Skylake CPUs and of course anything older, and we do know that AMD will have a core advantage to the mainstream offerings from Intel, but as always it falls on price and performance, especially single thread and availability before we can make any decisions. And of course, we're just going to have to wait until it's released before we actually see what it's capable of in reality. Hopefully Zen and Summit Ridge will be like the original Athlons of old and give us a great higher performance Intel alternative. Whether or not that actually happens, well, it honestly depends on pricing and real world performance as I just said. But AMD are definitely going toe to toe with KB Lake here with a very impressive looking Zen. So it's going to come down to that critical pricing, it's going to come down to value for money, and it's going to come down to what is my performance, and that sort of thing. And the fact that Cable Lake is of course compatible for people with a Skylake motherboard, that being the Series 100, definitely means AMD have got quite the work cut out for them, but I think they're going to give it a pretty damn good fight, but of course only time will tell. However, that's me done for this particular video, but if you look in the description below, there will be a link to an article 
and within that particular article there'll be various links linking to other articles for more information on Zen as well as a few other links that you might find interesting if you are looking for some more information on this particular topic so do check that out if you are so inclined thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time